Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of 420 Grams here on newsclick.in. As you can see, I'm a little bit upset, a little bit sad today because I'm all alone in the studio. Just me and my laptop. Uh, the boys are all over the place. Vaibha Bragunandan is joining us from Ranchi. Arjun Pandit from the sets of uh, world famous soap opera in Mumbai. How's it going, boys? I'm not in Ranchi, you guys. I'm in Giridi. So, tell me, update. Tell me, tell me, so many times. My character just got killed, so I don't have anything to do for five days now. Lovely, lovely. <laughs> then, then why the hurry to jump into the shoot? Yeah, let's do it easily. It's very topical. We have to talk about Anas. 100%. So, as, as you know, as fans of Indian football, of course, Anas Edathodika, uh, the central defender who was so critical to the Indian national team, is back from retirement. He's back because the new national team head coach, Igor Stimach, apparently had a phone conversation with him, expressed his sort of confidence in Anas's ability to make it back into the squad. Uh, I'll quote here from a, from, a, from a press release that came out. Coach Stimach has shown faith in me, Anas said. It's my turn to repay him. The coach asked me to join the upcoming camp. Honestly, I was taken aback. Later, Venki Bhai, uh, Shanmugam Venkatesh, who's the assistant coach of the national team, shared all the details and I just can't wait to join the camp. This is a quote from the All India Football Federation. Uh, straight to you guys, what is your take on having a retired player coming back into the squad as we look to build a team not just for the Intercontinental Cup but also ahead to the World Cup qualifiers and for the next couple of years? Uh, Pandit, start with you. Yeah, bro. So, of course, uh, the most obvious thing is that uh, the coach is not happy with the reinforcements that he has as far as his defence is concerned. And he made that pretty clear in his press press conference as well, when you and I attended that press conference. So, fair enough. But my point is, eight din or two mukable, eight din or two competitive mukable, me, aapne aisa kya dekh liya, ya aapne aisa kya soch liya ki aapne kaha hai, I need to call a player back from retirement. I mean, just my point is, okay, I'm not questioning Anas and his quality. Look, Anas uh, had a good partnership with Sandesh Jhingar. There is no doubt about that. He was the mainstay of that defence when they went undefeated in that, uh, in that campaign to get to the Asian Cup, you know. And that was a pretty good campaign for the Indian team. So, full marks to him for that. But my point is, wh what will Adil Khan be thinking right now, yaar? What will young Anwar Ali be thinking right now? Ki the coach doesn't think we're good enough. Which is why you have to call a 32-year-old who announced voluntary retirement who is not forced into retirement, voluntary retirement, and you're calling him back for the Intercontinental Cup camp. Uh, so I think it sends a very bad signal to the other players who put their hands up, knowing that now there is a, a vacancy in that stopper back position. In that first game, I'm sorry, coach Steamatch, you played Rahul Beke over there. No one else. It was Steamatch who played Rahul Beke there. If anything, you should have played Adil Khan from game one and game two. So what message are you sending these boys? It's a very mixed signal. And I know I might be jumping the gun over here because Weber was going to take it forward about whether Anas makes it to the team or not. But I just think you're sending a very mixed yeah. signal here. So, yeah, yeah okay. Actually, Weber, let, me, like, let, let me ask you, Weber, are you, kya aap is baat se sehmat hain? Basically, uh, is it not, so it's a 35 member camp, right? Out of which then the squad will be pruned down to 23 or however many they keep for the Intercontinental Cup. Uh, Quickly, if we can go through the list of defenders in this squad. There's Pritam Kotal, Nishu Kumar, Rahul Bheke, Salam Ranjan Singh makes it back. Sandesh Jhingan, Adil Khan, Anas, Anwar Ali, the kid, Sarthak Goloi, Subhashish Bose, and another young one, Narinder Gehlot, a Delhi boy actually, also uh, in the senior national squad for the first time. So, do you think Anas, just being part of the camp, will have a positive impact on the rest of the defenders in the squad, do you think he'll have a sort of mentorship role that he'll be able to provide to the younger players and help them build an understanding that will allow them to be starting central defenders for India going forward? Definitely. I, I think, see, he's uh, the first player in, in the history of football to have been called back out of retirement by a new coach or by even a coach. And the reason that perhaps coaches do that sometimes, regardless of the quality of the player they're dealing with, is to sometimes just get the guy in and maybe use his experience to give the younger kids in the camp, the new players in the camp, some confidence, give them some tips. Again, like Pandit was saying, maybe Anas doesn't get picked at all into the final squad, which is a completely different conversation also. Like, then what have you called him up for? Then perhaps you've called him out of retirement for this. 
just to give just to get into the camp and show teach these young kids something tell them something about working with sandesh maybe that's the purpose behind getting him out of retirement maybe it's not about taking away the confidence of adil khan and anwar but instead getting him in the camp and working with adil and anwar to perhaps take it forward make them get better okay um do you guys think matlab kya anas wapas playing 11 mein aayega pehla question Pe- pehli baar chal forget that playing 11 to baad mein dekhenge will he be in the do you think he'll be in the final squad also do you think there were other players gorav bora for example who put on a stellar show in the la- towards the end of last season actually throughout all of last season in the i league uh, are some of these younger players not good enough to warrant a call up to a national camp what do you guys think yeah uh, as far as anas getting back into the squad uh, see based on what we've seen him play at that time that's a very different anas to the, the anas that will be entering the camp now keep in mind that he's had an off season he's not played international football he's not played club football so usko thoda time to lagega and probably over the course of the camp and throughout to, towards probably the latter half of the camp the coach will be able to take a decision whether this guy is match fit mentally fit yeah. and ready or not for the camp as far as his capabilities are concerned everyone knows what anas edathodika is pretty capable of doing but i think it is a step back yaar because aapke paas jo sandesh and anas both the na both of them are players who play with a lot of heart there is no doubt about that you cannot question that they put their body on the line 90 minutes they are there like generals commanding you know their troops in front of them but i thought this would have been progression if you had someone like anwar ali you need a ball playing stopper back yaar agar aapke paas a ball playing stopper back aata hai which is not sandesh which is not anas you got a ball playing stopper back like anwar ali who can hit diagonal balls you got a ball playing stopper back like adil khan who has played the midfield a lot then that can really Uh, you know the amount it can add to your team going forward and attacking as a unit is much more than not having two ball playing center backs here so in that in that aspect i feel we we've, we've sort of taken a step back here so anas ka whether he's going to come or not wo to of course camp hi batayega yaar ki wo kitna fit hai kitna fit nahi hai i also think like, actually you're right like i don't think this was the first, this this uh, announcement of these probables was when i was surprised about the gorobora not being there i think even when they were going for the kings cup gorobora's name not being in the probables was quite a surprise to me because like you said it's quite correct he was very good through the season and people everyone was speaking about him being a young center back who was promising who showed physicality who had the brains to actually work in that position played for a team that was really good also so again his exclusion is a uh, i don't know maybe the coach doesn't i don't know what to say and there's another boy yeah narendra gelot yeah so so this is ye ye isi isi bare mein main agla sawal puchne wala tha ki do ladke hain jo kafi young hain ek to narendra gelot hai aur dusra anwar ali hai right they are both back in the squad and i think anwar didn't make it to the last squad because of injury again injured yeah yeah so hopefully he's recovered from whatever little niggle he had and he's back to some sort of playing shape I think it's a uh, in that sense the maybe he's gone a little bit even younger than what we'd expected younger than guys like Gaurav Bora and all that perhaps because looking at the kind of exposure and technical uh, sort of training that these younger absolutely young guys have essentially Narendra and uh, Anwar and all have been part of the setup that was being built in the lead up to the under 17 world cup so their exposure to uh, <coughs> high levels of coaching and competition has been more than any other generation of indian football has had uh and perhaps he's looking to build on that do you think is that is the case yeah yeah look see it, it's pretty clear i see whether anwar ali or narendra gelot make it to the playing 11 or the squad is hame nahi pata but the point is he's taken it upon himself ki i need to prepare an anwar ali and a narendra gelot ki aage ja ke mujhe ye situation aaye ki i need to call back someone like anas yeah ki mere paas backup hona chahiye and he's saying look if if i was the coach and i had to choose between gorov bora and i had to choose between an anwar ali like you just mentioned right now narendra gelot who have been given the kind of training and exposure that they've been given i would also choose these two boys because gorov bora for all his qualities and all that he may have achieved last season he did it in the i league yeah. he didn't even do it in the isl right with all due respect so as a coach who has not seen any of these boys playing in flesh and blood i'm going to take all of these things into account 
and i genuinely and then you of course look at what these boys did in the under 23 anwar and narinder gehlot primarily have been drafted into the senior team because of what they did with the under 23s under direct perera so that has played a big factor with all due respect the i league is not the isl agreed but the isl has bigger indian players has more high quality indian players than the i league will you not agree Fight, this fight, is fight, a fight, different. Fight. This is a different. This is a, this is a different video. No, so <laughs> if, if you're video. if you're playing higher quality a, Indian players on a weekly video basis, that you can see on, on a playlist weekly basis, on an everyday basis for seven, eight months, as opposed to you're playing low level Indian players on six, seven months in the I League, wouldn't you give more preference to someone when you've not seen them in flesh and blood? If you see someone in flesh and blood, you of course make up your own mind. No, I am. I am not division. so sure about this because ये जो लड़के हैं नरेंद्र और अनवर वगैरह भी के लड़के हैं ना ये भी तो आई लीग ही खेल रहे हैं yeah, exactly. uh, uh, yeah, yeah. well कि इनकी बॉडी में क्या इशूज है ये क्या अच्छा करते हैं क्या ठीक नहीं करते हैं कहाँ पे काम करना है इनके साथ कहाँ पे Uh, मतलब जैसे सेट पीसेस फॉर एग्जांपल अनवर अली का एक स्ट्रेंथ है दैट एड्स अनदर डायमेंशन टू द टीम एज वेल कमिंग इन एंड लाइक यू सेड बॉल प्लेइंग सेंट्रल डिफेंडर्स है हाउ मच एंड एट अ कॉम्पिटिशन लाइक द इंटरकॉन्टिनेंटल कप वेयर सारा सारी टीमें ऑलमोस्ट एट पार होंगी एक दूसरे के देर विल बी दी अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर सेंट्रल डिफेंडर्स टू प्ले आउट ऑफ दैट इट वोट बी लाइक द कुरसाओ गेम इन एट द किंग्स कप सो Uh, okay, I think that uh, just about covers the conversation in terms of uh, the defenders. Anything else that you guys want to add in terms of the rest of the probables? Uh, Nikhil Pujari is back in in the list. Mandar Rao Desai is back. Uh, I I need to head here. मुझे messages आ रहे हैं. Okay, okay, okay. ये मुझे बुला रहे हैं कपड़े बदलने के लिए. So एक मिनट से closing comment ले ले फिर मैं निकल लेता हूँ. ठीक है, ठीक है. So sorry, I don't know sorry. how we'll cut this part. मैं पांच बजे का show है. Okay. Hmm. So I think that just about covers it as far as the defenders are concerned, and as far as our little uh, conversation on Anas's comeback from retirement is concerned, uh, I think uh, everyone has to run to do different things. So closing comments from you, Pandit, in terms of anything else from the new list of probables for the Intercontinental Cup that comes to your mind. Uh, just uh, the under 17 boys we spoke about right now here anmar ali i think that boy needs to be drafted into the senior team sooner than later and i think uh, with all due respect uh, i think the coach also has an eye on him and he also wants to put him there so that injury wouldn't have been there probably that boy would have been there in the kings cup squad hmm. look at the way how amarjeet singh kyam has really come good and uh, now you know that a lot of faith will be invested in amarjeet singh kyam going forward so likewise if you can have one guy in the defense one guy in the midfield and someone age from that under 17 squad and really you know get them like like something like what gurpreet singh sandhu did yaar and look at where he is now you know in uh, yeah, indian absolutely. football he is one of our mainstays so in every position if you build one of these guys from the under 17 squad who have been like you said picked with an eye on the future then i think that is a progression all right webov summing up points from you please i think up front maybe he'll i hope he's got a pretty much the same list but i hope he's going to take uh, more people up front give more options up front because we discussed in our review of the kings cup that when sunil is not playing there's not much happening up front actually ashik is there in this probable list yeah so uh, that will be a that will be a good thing hopefully he can take more players he'll have an option and hmm. we can run more ठीक है आई थिंक एक तो ये मेजर डिफरेंस है किंग्स कप और इंटरकॉन्टिनेंटल कप के बीच एक तो हमारे घर में खेला जा रहा है अहमदाबाद में टूर्नामेंट होगा 7 जुलाई से uh, 19 जुलाई तक तो घर पे हो रहा है तो ऑब्वियसली द द ऑब्जेक्टिव द एम इज कि हम जीत के आए ये टूर्नामेंट और जो बाकी टीमें हैं सारी एशियन टीम्स हैं तो आई थिंक वी वुड वॉन्ट टू सॉर्ट ऑफ कम्पीट फॉर दैट फाइनल फॉर श्योर विद दैट इन माइंड वील keep covering the progress of the national team camp and we have also regular updates on everything that's going on in indian football as well as the women's world cup on newsclick.in so keep watching the show and tune in and sort of log into our website for those updates thanks for watching guys we'll chat with you again next week